We all know the UL 300 story. The UL 300 standard for restaurant fire suppression systems was revised in 1994 to address real-world fire risks in commercial kitchens. UL realized that changes in commercial kitchens had dramatically increased the risk and severity of kitchen fires and the existing testing protocol had to be revised to reflect these changes. Changes such as the use of vegetable oil instead of animal fat and the use of high efficiency appliances that heated much quicker and cooled much slower. UL also added more realistic testing methods. Commercially available appliances had to be used. Pre-burn times were increased to more realistically reflect automatic detection response time. And the appliance heat source had to remain on until the system activated. Splash testing of appliances was also added as a necessary safety precaution. What effect did UL300 have on existing systems? Pre-UL300 wet chemical systems had to be significantly enhanced to meet the new requirements. For example, fryers required five times more agent to extinguish and prevent reignition. Overall, about 25% more agent was necessary to meet the more stringent testing requirements. Dry chemical systems were unable to meet these requirements. They failed to prevent reignition and they failed to pass the new splash testing requirements. This is a UL300 wet chemical system discharging. Notice the chemical reacting with the oil to form a blanket of saponification. This blanket prevents reignition. The risk of not upgrading dry chemical restaurant systems can no longer be ignored. The time to upgrade is now.